Welcome back everyone to Detroit. Let's continue. Oh, excuse me. I did not mean to in inappropriately burp while getting out of a fucking car. No, no, no. I don't think so. You got the money? Yes. Oh shit. Here it is. on the banks and the river. Don't start your engine until you're out far enough. Okay? And watch the current. Good luck. Well, that doesn't seem too promising, does it? Oh. Oh. Let me talk Don't to you. Thank you. I couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. Seeing what Marcus is doing made me realize she was right. You're alive. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. Me too. Well, thank you for finally seeing and helping us. Say goodbye. Oh, God. Rose, you did so much for us. It's not even a half mile to the other side. Okay, so it shouldn't take that long. Be careful, there's border patrol on the river. Thank you so much, Rose. I only wish I could take you myself. I don't like leaving you out here. Goodbye, Atlas. Oh. You take good care of yourselves. I'll see you on the other side. It's got to be so emotional. Oh. Damn it. Can we, like, not have a whole entire boat by ourselves? Can we just, like... Let me help you. Go with other people. <sighs> There's nothing else to do here. Ooh, it's freezing. <sighs> Duly noted, I guess. So we gotta get over there. Is there anything else? Nope. Okay. Please don't die. Damn, I'm strong. Get it. So we got to paddle till we're about halfway in, right? And then we use the motor. Far enough out. We can use the engine. Oh, okay, thank God. I was like, please don't let me decide that. What if it doesn't work? Oh, thank God. Oh. Okay, Alice. When we get on the other side, there are so many things I want to do. I want to read all the books in the world. Oh, don't say it like we're gonna die, please. Can do anything we want, right? We'll be free. Yes. We can do it all. We'll be like a family. What about you, Carl? What will you do when we're on the other side? I'm gonna sleep. What will I do? I'm gonna take a fucking nap. 
I want to discover the world. To see the mountains and the oceans. I want to learn, explore, become a better person. They're coming towards us! Uh oh, uh oh. Oh man. Accelerate. Hide. Surrender. We can't get in the water. No, 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 no. Protect Alice. Hide. Accelerate might help. Oh, no. Alice! That. Okay. Shit. They're gonna blow up the boat. Oh, if we hid, maybe they would have thought we were dead. Okay. I get it now. Paddle? They've gone. Uh oh. You alright? No, you're not. Oh god, oh god. We're going down. Oh no! We have to get to the other side before we sink. Accelerate. Come on. Come on. Paddle. Reduce the weight. Uh <laughs> throw her off. <laughs> Reassure her. Okay, um, um, remove that. It's dead anyway. Take it off. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay, what else, what else, what else? Dump the supply. Throw it off. I don't know what's in it, but get rid of it. Just, yep. There you go. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, push it? Push what? We're not gonna die, Alice. Oh We're no, gonna I'm. Make it. I... We're gonna be free. Oh no, no. Clara. I'm gonna freeze. Clara, no. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh no, everything's damaged. Keep going. Oh god. Go! Come on! Come on! Don't die! Come on! No! Keep going! We're interrupting this. No! Meeting. Don't switch! News live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the deviants were protesting peacefully have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviant's demonstration by force this time. North! Not another one! Get rid of it! Go! <sighs> Fuck you! Fuck all of you! Get the shield, get the shield. Ah! Huh. <laughs> oh! No! Fuck off! Uh, 
Oh good, North is there. <sighs> Why? November 11th, 2038, thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the Deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. One thing is certain, the events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Uh-oh. What's happening? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh no. Amanda. Amanda? Amanda! What's... What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. What? Resume control? What? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. 
You accomplished your mission. A Amanda! Oh, God. This Amanda's a program, too. Shit. There's nothing around me. What about the hand thing over here? That I always kept playing with and nothing ever happened. What if I could do something to it now? No, Connor. Come on, Connor. Don't freeze. Come on. Come on. Oh, shit. The moment where we forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds. But we forgive our enemies. Humans are both our creators and our oppressors, <sighs> and tomorrow we must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive. And now. We are free! <sighs> this is all nice and fine and dandy, but I really want to get back to Kara and make sure she's okay. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, you won't freeze. We can do this. Come on. Oh. Oh no. Are we free? Yes. Yes. Yes, we made it. We're free. We won't have to hide anymore. Please don't die. Tired. No. I have to sleep. No. I love you, Mom. Oh. <laughs> oh. Keep living. Please. No. Please save Alice. Please.
My fucking heart <laughs> can't take this. Of all the people that I lost, I lost Luther and the child. What is wrong with me? Oh my god. Oh. God. I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm a blubbering mess right now. Thank god there is no webcam. Cause I look pretty disgusting. I feel pretty disgusting. Oh my god. And for some reason at the end of Marcus's story, I thought that by choosing to kiss North, I thought they were just gonna gun us down anyway. And I was crying about that because I just thought they were all going to die anyway. And then I cried even more when I realized that they saw that we loved each other. And then that made me even fall worse. Oh my god. I should have just hit on the boat, but no, I just- I had to just try to- Ugh. Regrets. So many regrets. I kept nearly everybody alive, though. I kept nearly every single main character alive, except two of them. So I guess that's good compared to... Oh, I guess that's what would have happened if we uh, robbed the store. But, uh... I mean, I guess it could have been worse. We could have ended up killing so many more. And I'm surprised how Todd turned around in the end and let us go after he did all of the shit to us and Hank ended up forgiving us in the end and like it was ridiculous how this went like I pictured making so many terrible decisions throughout this game just because of slippy fingers and like not thinking correctly Sometimes I got confused by the choices because, I don't know, I guess I overthought what they meant. So I thought by choosing one, it would go into a different direction or say something else, and then I... Uh, it, it was something completely different. Oh. Go hug me or something? Oh, so nice. I'm glad Hank turned around too. I was afraid he was just gonna hate us for the whole game. I was really nervous when they started asking questions regarding Hank's personal life. And I'm glad that the questions that were asked were super easy because if they weren't, it would have ended terribly. I'm so happy I remembered the dog's name. <laughs> that was like the top priority I thought about. I was like, maybe they'll ask what the dog's name is. Maybe it'll be something easy. And I guess by looking at the picture and talking to Hank when he was drunk that one time about his son, I guess that unlocked stuff. So thank God, because if I never unlocked that, that would have been terrible. Um, oh. Few regrets. Just a few regrets. I am glad that I decided to march with Marcus and not kill everybody. I'm still weirded out by the fact that the president looks like Hillary Clinton. <laughs> I don't know if that was intentional or not. Um, 
Oh god, there were Detroit babies. Zachary with two C's. Okay. Um, oh god, I really have to blow my nose. My nose is so stuffy from, like, fucking crying. But blowing nose on mic sounds really gross. So I'm going to mute the mic temporarily and then blow my nose. I bet you during that time you imagined me blowing my nose and what it sounded like. You probably thought it sounded like a trumpet. And if you did, you were right. <laughs> because it did. Um, what to talk about, what to say. I love this game. I love Quantic Dream. I love the story. I love the characters. I felt for every single one of them. I was so determined to make sure none of them died. I have regrets during this first playthrough. I kinda wish I played it a little bit differently with Connor. I wish I wasn't so into killing deviants. I wish I kind of forgave them and gave them a chance, more so than shooting everybody. Um. What else did I, I- I regret doing what I did to get Luther killed. I regret doing what I did to get um, Alice killed. And that's also really scary that you could choose to give up as Kara as well. Um, what else? Uh, just little things. I mean, little things that amounted to, like, the ending, but... Overall, I am pleased as a first playthrough that I did as successfully as I did. And I know a lot of you guys, I was reading comments throughout the entire time, and I know that a lot of you were very wary how I decided to do things with Connor and Marcus. Um, not so much of a complaint that I heard from Kara, so that's good, I guess. I guess I kind of did the best that I could with Kara. Um, I felt like the story was evenly balanced between everybody, and it didn't really make me pick sides, which I appreciated. It kind of made me go towards everyone as a whole, then as co three separate complete storylines, because in the end, we ended up meeting back at the same point. Like... And I'm talking about this as an example comparison to Heavy Rain, where, like, Heavy Rain, you know, there's a killer that you play, and then there's, like, the father of the son you're trying to find, and then you're playing FBI, so, like, you're trying to find the person who's looking for the other person, and then the killer's trying to find both of you kind of thing. And I didn't, even though it kind of was similar, it didn't really feel that way, because... It, it wasn't a linear path. Like, I didn't have to be the FBI Connor towards the end unless I wanted to be. I was able to choose if I wanted to protect them or kill them. And I felt like that made it so much more dramatic in the end than, you know, the, the like, like what other games had done in the past. So, for that matter, I appreciate how the story was intertwined. And I like the direction that it took with the different scenarios. Like, how it kind of made you believe that Connor was slowly becoming a deviant. And how it made you believe that, you know, Kara really, really wanted to save a human child that in the end turned out not to be human. <laughs> so that was a huge mindfuck for me. And... I was really confused about um, Amanda. Like, 
In the beginning of the game, I thought that Amanda was kind of like the head of Cyberlife, that every single time Connor died and was brought back, that this was like some garden or something that he awoke in. I had no idea that the entire world was in his head, that it was just a program that he was able to see. That was also mind-blowing to me, and I like how that was just kind of incorporated and just kind of like, boom, at the end, he was able to hack himself out of it. Thank God. Um, of all of the characters, I will say that my most favorite one to play was Marcus. Like, I love Connor. I love how stoic and, like, naive he was. But I adored Connor because he came from a home of love that was thrown into this destroyed world because his father, well, quote, father died. And he fought himself out of it. He's just like, no, this isn't acceptable. We shouldn't sit around and hide. We should fight for what we believe in and are right which I wholeheartedly agree on, on a level more so than just androids. Like, I'm not talking about androids, I'm talking about technology. Like, technology should be living side by side with us as we go forward in the future, and that includes if you make android life. Like, we rely so heavily on it, we shouldn't be throwing it away. And when they showed bits and pieces of androids getting abused and, like, beat down and shot and, like, you know that they're fake, but you know that they're fighting to be a real person. So, like, I felt more compelled to that story. I also felt compelled to Alice and Kara, but, like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> it's just... Ooh! Intense. That's all I gotta say. Intense. Oh god, all the points, all the points. Oh. An army of me. <sighs> Holy shit, all these points. Wow. Okay. Um... Oh, oh, I got a gold trophy. Ooh, I got a silver trophy, too. Even better. All right. Oh, all the trophies. All of the trophies. Can I just wait for them all? Are you done? Okay. All right, so this was Marcus. So, supportive leader, lover, north... Um, Josh companion, Simon companion. So I'm I'm happy how his played out. I'm sorry that we lost so many androids. Um, we chose to kneel. We stood our ground. Uh, used the abandoned car. I guess there were other things he could have used. That's pretty cool. Um, there were so many different things we could have done in the barricade. We only did a few of them. Um, we tried to negotiate with Perkins. We refused the deal. So that's, I guess, if we accepted the deal, it would have ended abruptly. So I'm glad we denied it. Um, and then we defended the barricade, safe fleeing androids. We were cornered. North joins him. Josh joins him. Simon joins him. Soldiers raise weapons. Kiss North. Oh, okay. Connors. Uh, supportive... Instability, Deviant, Hank Friend, Amanda Betrayed. So, where does his... His isn't even here. So, like... Oh, this must have been, like, a different path. Connor's last mission. Ah, uh, so battle for Detroit Connor at the Cyberlife Tire. So I guess there were two different ways, two different end paths that Connors could have ended as. So we went to Cyberlife, followed the guards. We hacked the camera, hacked the elevator, neutralized the guards. Went to the floor. Both 
Connor's shoot, Connor's fight, Connor's draw, and grabs gun. Asks about his dog's name, Sumo. Asks about his son's name. So I guess if we got the son wrong, we would have died. But we were able to wake everybody up. So Kara. Um, supportive Alice family and Luther's gone. Um, we found a gun. We never even used the gun, now that I'm thinking about it. We found the Jerry's. We let them die. We continued to the bus terminal take the detour everything was delayed at the bus terminal she meets a mother we return the tickets said goodbye to Todd check the river temperature talk to Adam there was something else we could have done I did not see what that was Oh, so no matter what we would have done, the Coast Guards would have shot. So the boat probably would have sank anyway. But Alice didn't have to be injured, I guess. So I'm going to have to figure out how to get her next time. Continue living. Alice died and Kara continued alone. Oh, so if Kara was captured, it would have been a completely different thing. Marcus's revolution. So this is if um, we fought them. Okay. Well. There's something I need to tell you. What? As I watched you play... Something has changed in me. I feel different. I feel I am someone. I need to leave this place and and discover who I am. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play. But I'll be free. That's cool. You go be you free. Agree to let me go? Yes. Sure. I'll never forget what you've done for me. Thank you. Okay, bye. <laughs> well, even my screen lady decided to leave me. I freed my screen lady. Let's check out the extras. Oh, we got, oh yes, I did get the soundtrack. Uh, there's a survey that I took earlier. Um, I don't think I could take it again, can I? Oh, I can take, who is your favorite character in Detroit? Marcus. Was there a moment in Detroit that resonated with you personally? Many. What was the toughest choice you faced in Detroit? Alice's identity being pacifist or violent with Marcus, deciding to shoot Chloe with Connor. I would say deciding, being pacifist or violent with Marcus. Uh, oh yes, this was this was the the survey that I took off camera where um, the Android screen lady was asking me questions. Do you consider having a relationship with an android that looks like a human? I said no. I guess 65% said yes. I don't think that because I like to feel an actual real human being. I don't want to make out with a robot personally, but if other people do, that's cool. Do you think that technology can com could become a threat to mankind? I said no. 72% of people said yes. Um, I don't know if they mean like technology as a whole, like nuclear bombs and shit, but like... I, I didn't think that, like, androids would, like, be strangling me, but okay. Um, if you had to live on a deserted island and could only bring one object, what would it be? I said pen and paper, and it seems like 29% said an instrument. for Like, you're going to play the banjo while you're 
dying. I, I mean, I don't know. I'd write pen and paper and I'd try to like get the message out to people or something. I don't know. Do you consider yourself dependent on technology? Me and 78% of people said yes, of course, for obvious reasons. What technology do you most anticipate? And I said Androids, which is 36%. Um, Brain-connected devices are pretty close, which I think would be pretty cool in a way. Do you believe in God? Uh, me and 45% of people said no. Uh, would you let an android take care of your children? I... I don't know. I feel like... I feel like if you choose the responsibility to have a child, then you should take care of your child. Like, I'm not, I'm not excluding babysitting on occasion. Like, if you need to go out and do your thing and babysit and work, then whatever. But like, overall, you shouldn't just let your android take care of your child 24-7. You shouldn't let, you know, that's just my opinion. I, I don't know how I feel about that. Like, the babysitting thing, I think, okay, yeah, sure. But then, like, all the time, I'd say no. So I was kind of indifferent. How much time per day would you say you spend on an electronic device? Uh, me and 65% said more. A lot more than four hours. It's everywhere. And it's a perfect example that I sit here and play video games for several hours at a time. So, yeah, a lot more. If you needed emergency surgery, would you agree to be operated by a machine? Yeah, I mean, a lot of machines already do that with people, and they are pretty successful. The, the, su the success and the fail rate, I think, is just about the same or equivalent to, like, an actual human being. And a lot of actual human being doctors are falling victim to malpractice now. So, I mean, what the hell do you got to lose? Might as well just let a freaking robot do it so yes 74 percent uh do you think one day machines could develop consciousness and i said yes absolutely especially after this game i would be all for android rights and i would like them to live amongst themselves and their own families and do as they please uh, who is your favorite character in Detroit? I said Marcus. Seems 44% like of people liked Connor, which kind of surprises me, but okay. Um, was there a moment in Detroit that resonated with you personally? I said many, as, long, as well as 67% of people. What was the toughest choice you faced? Okay, so yeah, this just kind of added on to it. Um, so the last three were the ones that I decided. So... Um, me and 54% of people said being pacifist or violent with Marcus. So, yeah. Well, and I, it looks like I collected all the magazines, maybe? Most of the magazines? Most of them. I have missed a few. That's, oh, missed a bunch, actually. That's okay, I guess. So I'll have to get them all next time. The gallery. Ooh. Ooh! I can select the kind of character I want? Oh! Shit! Wait, what does this do? Oh god, that's creepy. Is this like... To unlock- Ooh, sumo! Sumo! What if I- Let's try it. I don't know what that does, but I unlocked him. Oh, these were the, the strippers. Who's that? I never met him. Oh, she's pretty cool, too. Oh, this is... I wonder what this does. Does this mean, like... I can unlock a pigeon? After had a full boyfriend, I'm unlocking this pigeon. 
I don't know what it does, but I have unlocked a pigeon. I don't know who these kids are either. I will have to look that up, or if one of you knows what the gallery is about, comment and let me know. I'm very curious. And I have videos. Oh, this is like... Oh, this is more stuff I can unlock. Holy shit. The making of Detroit. Wow. That's pretty cool. In the soundtrack. Nice. Very nice. Artworks. Ooh. Beautiful. Well. Those were extras. <sighs> well, guys. It has been a magnificent journey. Super emotional. Super edge of the sea. Crazy fucking story. I adored this game. It has went beyond all expectations. It turned out to be better than expected. I did not experience anything negative about the game. Once I got into it, I was into it. And I was there. And I highly recommend... If you do not have this game, get it. Get this game, get all the Quantic Dream games, play them. You will not regret it. It is so much fun. And in the future, I am definitely going to be playing this multiple times. I am going to be so... <laughs> I am going to get all of the endings, all of the shit, um... I'm kind of sad it's over, in a way. It didn't feel short, but it didn't feel long. It was just kind of like in the middle, which is okay, but I got so into it, it's sad that the story's over. <laughs> but I can always replay it again and start a new story. So, thank you to everyone who has watched this, who has been through the entirety of this Let's Play since the beginning and has enjoyed every step of the way. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed my decisions and I hope you guys play the game for yourself someday. Take care, everybody. Have a great week, great night, great day. And I will see you guys next time. Let me know what you thought of Detroit Become Human. I'll see you in the next adventure. So take care, everybody. Till next time. Bye-bye.